Chapter 8. Three little sailor boys walking in the zoo. A big bear hugged one, and then there were two. Three little sailor boys walking in the zoo. I've been all over this island more than once, and I've yet to see a bear. We should stay together in one room. I still have the gun. Wouldn't we be safe then? Possibly. Provided you aren't Owen. We can't. One of us has to keep the signal fire on Ship Rock going. And there's something else. Armstrong isn't the only one of us to have vanished. The rest of us are here. Those still alive, yes. Wargrave's body is missing. Huh. I have to admit, not much seems to get past you, Narricot. Oh, how ghastly. We better find it. Vera is safe enough locked in her room with the gun. Law, if you and Narricot search for Wargrave... You mean for his body? Um, yes, if you like. I'll keep the bonfire going. There's only one path up to Shiprock. If I keep an eye on that and have a flaming torch close at hand, I should be fine. I've got this. I'll be all right. I'm going to find Wargrave. Would you gentlemen mind escorting me to my room? My pleasure. Fine, Lombard. I'll start looking for Wargrave, too. Oh, Patrick. Dead is Hamlet's dad, but not shot, and the body is still warm. Looks like his head is caved in. What is it? I heard a cry. It's Blore. His head's been smashed in by a marble clock in the shape of a bear. Oh, but there was one on my... Wait there a moment. It was on my mantle. When Philip escorted me to my room, it must have been already gone. One of you. Or you? Wait! The body was thoroughly searched. No need to disturb it now. That's quite a signal fire. Someone should be able to see it. Armstrong, dead for hours, and by the looks of him, he's been in the sea most of that time. 